Welcome back to my channel, my beautiful beings of light. My name is Jeanette and I am a high vibrational being. I am an earth angel. I am a psychic. I am intuitive. I am a reincarnated ancient old Egyptian soul royalty who has reincarnated on this planet at this time to help the collective raise their consciousness. I am here as a messenger of the Most High. I am intuitive. I am a healer. I am an earth angel. I am a galactic being as well. I don't care what you say. I know who I am. Okay? I know who I am. I know the light that I hold within my heart. I know the pain that I went through and healed from. And I am very secure in my own skin. And I am very secure in the messages that I do deliver. So, I'm very thankful to my Father the Most High for every day, every second, every moment of my life, providing me with protection, love, wisdom, understanding, guidance, a roof over my head with the breath that I breathe, the skin on my body, the heart that I hold of pure love and intentions. I'm very thankful for my spiritual gifts and my spiritual journey. I am very thankful to all those who have played their roles in my journey, who has served as the shadows of me, and I learned from these energies. I'm very thankful. Thank you for, I thank my father for my angels, my archangels, my ascended masters, my galactic family. I thank my father for my fairies, my spiritual animals, my galactic family. I'm thankful for my Egyptian ancestors, all the ancestors of all cultures and all races and all dimensions. I'm very thankful for the trees, the water, the air, the fire, for we are everything. We are water, we are fire, we are air, and we are earth. That's where our magic comes from. That's who we are. Know thyself before you even judge a person. Don't ever, ever speak on a person without knowing who they are. You don't know why God has placed that person in your life. I'm thankful for my ancestors, my archangels, my ascended masters, my son, my mom, my sister, my brother, my nephew, my dad, uh, my twin brother, and my sister. I love them all. They are all spiritual beings. Yes, they have left their time here as the vessel, but they always live in spirit. Never forget that. That spirit always lives. Our bodies are shed, but our spirits will always continue. So I'm very thankful for being here. I hope everybody enjoyed their weekend. Please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Know that um, my uh, YouTube channel, my Instagram, everything has been hacked. People have tried to stop me from delivering messages to the collective, but there is somebody more powerful than they are. They tend to forget that God is powerful, that God created them. I do not impose my religion, my spiritual belief on anyone, on anyone. I have learned through my lessons in my lifetime. I have healed. I have connected. I have all of my life forces. All of my chakras are all aligned. I have went through the stages through all initiations to reach a higher level of consciousness. I have the Christ consciousness. I am able to tap into spirits. I am able to tap into energies and see and feel 
what they're going through. I even know their inner secrets. So I just want to come on. I've been studying. I've been doing a lot of research. I've been learning. And I just want to um, just bring out some things. First of all, God told me today you cannot heal the collective if you are not healed yourself. To those who are prophesying, doing any messages for the collective, and you have not healed yourself, and you're putting on out these false messages to the collective, and you are profiting off of these, you are not going to profit no more. You will no longer profit from the fake and the phony that you are. You have tried to stop the real, real messengers from receiving their rewards, but God said no more. God did that for a reason, to expose all of you for everything you have done, okay? Don't ever think that um, you got away with anything, because you never did, okay? You never did. And for those who are new, welcome to my channel. Please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And for my returning um, subscribers, I love you. Thank you so much for your support, your love. I will, I do have my, I never ask anybody for any money. But if you are feel generous enough to donate to my channel, the information will be linked down below so that your way you are able to support me. And know that... The energies that you exchange with me will be blessed by the most divine. More than you ever have known. Because when you support God's children, when you support, when you support the messenger of the most high, know that you are being blessed along the way. Whatever good you put out, you will always re receive. Yes, I am cloaked. I brought I brought my cloak. I am so happy and so, oh my God, it's so beautiful. Um, whatever. I did it for a reason. It's to protect my energy. I know how to protect myself from all evil. So, whatever whatever you intend to send to me is being returned back to you. So. At the end of the day, I've been smelling, somebody's been smoking a lot of cigarettes. It's like very nauseating, the smell of cigarettes. Um, I smelled this this morning, um, and it's a marijuana, very heavy smell on marijuana. Again, very nauseating. Somebody's been, I'm also feeling somebody's nauseous, somebody is, somebody had some type of surgery because I feel the pain like in my butt lock on the right side of my somebody did a, a, a butt lift or whatever and it's very painful and I am feeling this pain I pick up energy so it's not my pain so I always send that pain right back to sender I did wake up with a headache this morning it wasn't my headache it was uh, maybe psychic psychic uh, attacks. I send that energy back. No, you cannot uh, attack my crown chakra. Know that Archangel Metatron is always protecting my crown chakra. I know how to protect all the Archangels from North, East, West, and South are always protecting my energy. Um, and every, any, every spell, all spells that is being done on the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine I command it to be sent back to sender, okay? There's nothing that you are able to do to hurt and harm any divine being. Um, then, okay, so I wanna, that's a lie, I like to, um, to study things. And what I was studying was, I have a set of cards, and these cards are all the elements which are fire, earth, water, and air so in order in order 
and we are all made up all these elements and in order to know how to alchemize these elements we have to work with the elements um so yeah uh let's see i did do i want to give all my secrets um i don't know if i said this already There was a movie I watched. It was called the Con the Con Convenant. Um, and uh, this person's birthday is, uh, I, I always look at numbers. July 1988 may be significant for somebody. Um, somebody's, both parents died in a car accident. There are four warlocks, powerful, and they know of each other. These are called the super superhuman gifts. They are, there's one of the five warlocks who is more demonic and is uh, intuitively, in the, in the movie it didn't say that this person was bisexual or gay, but intuitively I received this message and this warlock killed his lover. Maybe a message, maybe there's a warlock out there who are who's doing killings and asked if he had any clue and he was asked if he had any clue about the, what had happened to this young man and i'm feeling that there is a warlock who has killed in the past and has come from a family of demonic entities they may have had a home around a forest but not in the united states I believe this person may have changed his name. People are, people are, I feel like there's people who are doing scans and, and using people's date, dates of birth dates and do a lot of fraudulent activity and scamming and trying to change names. They go to different countries, have different, uh, I'm receiving different passports with people's names who have passed on. This is this is what I'm receiving. And it's so funny, I was watching this movie. While I was researching. There's a lot of people who do car accident uh, rituals, and I know both of my uh, car accidents were done by car magic because they wanted to um, get rid of me, but I'm here. I'm still here. God has a plan for me. I have a mission, and you can't get rid of me that easily. Sorry. And I am living my life. And I'm here where I need to be at the moment and at the time. Whenever God says it's time for me to go, then it's time for me to go. Until then, I will remain here and continue my messages without people trying to stop me. Because I am love and light and I do not hurt or harm anybody. Okay, fire elements. It corresponds with our muscles and our digestive systems. Fire is stimulating, fire heats, fire motivates. We use fire when we want to amplify energy and project it into the world. So, people use fire magic. 
and this is candle magic any kind of fire rituals or even their heated uh, attitudes or behaviors know that when you are doing this to divine beings it's not working okay we alchemize these energies and everything is returned right back to sender the water water absorbs and purifies making it uh, benef benef beautiful helper for cleansing and healing the fluids in our bodies is blood semen saliva uh, spinal fluid all correlates to the water elements so water is within our bodies and in our systems and we also have the bodies of water outside of our cells make sure that when you have a bottle of water you ask the creator to always bless purify the water that you are drinking he always encourages spring water um, not any electrolytes or anything like that or sparkling water or none of that the spring water because it's more earthly water also um, the air air is movement it generates um, it generates flare magnetizes our breath is represented by the air elements which is still grounding energy so air is breathing staying focused in the in and in the here and now air is also our mental which is i i um I correlate the air element with the the knife, the, the 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 sword in tarot. The fire element is the wand. The water element is the cup. And the earth is the pentacle. Um, and the earth holds space and provides the surface upon all elements can do their thing out. Our bones represent our bones represents the earth element so it, it uh, tells us that air is also our bone so be careful how the earth how you use the elements of earth because whatever you put out that's what you receive not only you receive it internally within your system within your body so if you are putting any negative energies out there to anyone, know that it's affecting not it's not only affecting that person, it's affecting the collective, but it's also affecting your house. For those who don't know how to protect themselves. And if you're doing any spell work of any negative forces, you are receiving those elements and you are getting sick. And if you have done any spells with the elements, know that I know I am a creature of all elements, a being of all elements. So whatever you do, whatever you use, it's not working. And like every living being on this planet, the elements are interdependent. This means they exist in of themselves but they also also you but they also need each other as to sustain a healthy body and the ecosystem and a healthy planet just like i said you have to be very careful that's why these negative energies that are here on this planet at this time god is getting rid of them because they have unbalanced the earth at this moment if you're not for the highest good of the collective if you have been putting any ill intent if you have oppressed our people know that your system is breaking down because you have not used the elements within yourself within your business within the planet to sustain beautiful powerful energies instead you use it for your benefit to overpower the collective
Wind is messages, so spirits. Wind is a spirit. Just know wind are spirits. Rain is spirit. Water is spirit. Glass is spirit. Rocks are spirits. Okay? Magic comes from nature. When you go outside and you sit, everything that is, uh, everything is alive. The trees are alive. Those are our ancestors. The water is alive. Those are our ancestors. The rocks are alive. Whether you believe in or not, crystals, crystals are alive. They are healing tools. They are healing crystals. Oh, got it. Relationships takes work. Relationships require attention and devotion and mutual respect. Relationships do not work if you barge into someone's space, ignore them, and give them the silent treatment, which is exactly what human beings do every time they go to a park or the river and have a picnic or go for a swim without taking a moment to acknowledge the spirits of the trees and the grass and the plants and the animals and the insects living in the park. God created everything and his spirit with his love for us to enjoy and continue to expand and bring love into everything not hate not war change the world by changing yourselves we have to change the world by changing ourselves, by changing our way of being, by pro reprogramming ourselves all over again because we have been programmed to think that we had to bow down outside of ourselves to other entities. And that's not true. God will always provide when you go within yourself, you receive your guidance from the Most High, your spirit team, your ancestors, your angels. The celestial, there's four celestial elements, which is the moon, the sun, the star, and the earth. And we work with all these. In astrology, we work with this. And in our charts, in our birth charts, we work with all these elements. These elements represent our powerful force of energy that affects all of us when we are in our biological space, suits. These elemental energies affect all the elemental energies in ways that conduct frequencies that impact our every, everyday lives. And I just want to say that I got a lot of this information from Jason McDonald because I don't want to be um, I don't I'm not I don't want to be someone who's plagiarizing somebody's work I am very conscious of what I'm doing and I give all the respect to this person who did such a beautiful job with his oracle cards and explaining nature and how we are connected to nature and the celestial beings and how we are able to connect these elements into our daily lives and in our health and in our relationships and in our businesses. The human body is animated by pure atomic energy. Remember that our bodies are made of elements and that inside each element is a spirit. Spirit lives in the invisible plane. Someone feels lost and is in need of guidance, especially today when their lives seem so cloudy. So this is Yolanda Adams' song, and I channeled this song. Somebody is in need of guidance, and you know, you may think that your world is cloudy today, but tomorrow, but you have to ground your energies. You have to come in alignment with yourself. 
not grounded and very caught up in their masculine somebody's not grounded and very caught up in their masculine 3d dimensional energies they are in need to connect with their feminine divine energy which is the very high vibration frequency the masculine energy is very aggressive very uh quick to do things without even taking a step back and analyzing and asking is this good for the highest good of yourself highest good of the collective they just go on impulse the divine feminine really acknowledges takes time out to seek within herself balance out the energies what is it that is for the greater good of herself and all involved So yeah, that's um, that's something that I was Oh, uh, and then I watch another movie Somebody's mother's deadly secret. There's a mother who has a secret She may be a nurse she may uh, She may even medicate her own children uh, there was this, I, I, there was this, this reality movie I saw. It's called Mother's Deadly Secret. The nurse, the child. There was a car accident. There was blood transfusion. Nurse illegally takes screenshots of the child's medical records. Somebody's medical records are being um, tampered with or illegally HIPAA is involved someone's uh someone tries to blow somebody's uh, tires to have an accident person's name may need may be margaret or uh red vine california may be significant um somebody's child consent for adoption 10 years ago somebody may be adopted somebody may be on antidepressants someone may have a gun in this home there's cameras that are being placed in the home there was an affair within the home of these of these people and uh, the husband and wife in the past trying to work their relationship wife is overworking and neglecting their relationship child reports nurse is a pill pusher somebody's pushing pills on a child be careful with people who are watching your children who are if your child is on medication be careful people intentions are not always for the highest good but that's why we have to use our own discernment when we um, have children and who our children are being watched over because even teachers even parents are they have very sick minds So those are the messages that I got that I wanted to share with the collective in regards to the elements as well and um, I just also want to leave off with um, Archangel Michael's message um, multiplying the power of the angels all heavenly beings have an electronic presence which is the auric field and emanation it is composed of force fields of light that com compromise the individual's identity the presence can be duplicated without limit so heavenly beings can appear to anyone upon earth or to a million people simultaneously thus you can greatly multiply the powers of archangel michael as his legions you can give decree for every man, woman, and child 
worldwide and see all of them being defended by this mighty archangel. When you are evoking angelic protection, visualize all of heaven filled with legions of blue flames. Angels, see the angels all around you and everyone you know. When we give the decree, I am Archangel Michael, Michael Archangel places his electronic presence over us. It is as though we are inside of him. If you are Arch, if you are Archangel Michael, where you stand, then nothing can get by you, because nothing can get by the power of Archangel Michael and his sword of flame. I am Michael, Michael, Michael. I am Michael, Michael, Michael. I stand within his flame. I am Michael, Michael, Michael. By God's own, I am name. I am Michael, Michael, Michael. His faith blazing here. I am Michael, Michael, Michael. His power and love so dear. I am Michael, Michael, Michael. To life and love I bow. I am Michael, Michael, Michael. To defend the faith I vow. I am Michael, Michael, Michael. I enlist the light of men. I am Michael, Michael, Michael. America, defend. I am Michael, Michael, Michael. His shield of faith I wear. I am Michael, Michael, Michael. His circle and sword I bear. I am Michael, Michael, Michael. And amored by his love. I am Michael, 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 blue lightning from above. I am Michael, 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 protected by his word. I am Michael, 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 the captain of the Lord. I am Michael, 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 his legions now descend. I am Michael, 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 each child of the light defends. So you could use that as a protection every single day call upon archangel michael to protect you with his blue shield light of protection not only to you and to all those who are in need of protection that is serving for the highest good of all your armor of light giving the following decree tube of light builds a powerful energy of protection around you when you call forth your tube of light you see yourself sealed in an armor of light a tube of fury opaque white spiritual fire see it descending from your i am presence and extending at nine feet in diameter around you and beneath your feet see it blocking all negative energies directed at you then see the blue filled with violet flame, its spiritual energy liberating from your burdens. It helps to give the decree at the beginning of each prayer session to seal yourself in your own mighty tube of light protection. To help your visualization, you can look at the chart at on page 62 for giving decree. Let me see, 62. Your yeah, I am presence. So take a picture of that and do your I am decree of Archangel Michael. Tube of light, beloved I am presence bright. Round me sealed your tube of light from ascended master flame. Call forth now in God's own name. Let it keep my temple free from all this court sent, sent to me. I am calling forth violet fire to blaze the, and transmute all desires, keeping on the freedom's name till I am one of the violet flame. The tangible violet flame of light, the tube of light can guard and seal us as we go by our daily lives. And it has 
provided great protection to all people in the most dire situations. So that's your protection from Archangel Michael every single day, every single moment of your life. As you wake up, it's good to protect your energy, also call back your energy from past, present, and future. And at the end of the day, always call your energies back, past, present, and future. Always, always, always be very mindful of the energies that you put out. Make sure that words are very powerful. Words are also spells. The spells that you are putting out, make sure they're coming from a pure light and love of the God within you. Any darkness, you try to overshadow those darkness with your light. Balance, find balance within yourself. Know that you are loved. Know that God loves you. Know that God is very proud of you for doing your, your healing work. But those who are doing their work and who have chosen a side, God is so proud of you. Know that you will never be alone. Know that He will always be there for you. There are things in our lives that we need to give up. And friends, family, work that we need to get up in order for us to ascend to a high level of consciousness. Just know that there's nothing that, that God doesn't do for you that is putting your life to hurt you. Know these are your shadows. Know that these are lessons. And you move forward, let go, and release them with pure love, forgiveness for self and them, and with no attachments. I love you all. Have a blessed day. And um, I'm coming back with another video. I love you. Namaste.